Do you want to create title sides just explode on the screen? Well, we're not going to be doing real explosions. We're going to be creating title motion graphic explosions right in After Effects. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. A few weeks ago, I made a video titled Accident Explosions. We made a tutorial on creating accident explosions, which are just shapes exploding on your screen and you can use them for motion graphics. But what about integrating it with a title design so you can create some very nice smooth you know, title explosions, which look really great and just add a little bit of pop to your title. So figured I'd make a tutorial just for it and let's go ahead and let's get started on it. All right, here we are inside of After Effects and we already have a title in here. And I want to animate the title first to get that out of the way. So, so since we're doing an explosion title, we want the animation to be similar to the, you know, the concept. So what we'll do is we'll open up our title layer and this tab right here says animate. Click on that button there and it was going to add a scale property. And from here, what we can do is we can set the scale down to 0% and then we'll open up the range selector one and add a keyframe for start. And you can move forward here, say like two seconds, and we'll set it to 100%. Now, each letter is going to be animating in from a scale property uh, one at a time. So what I like to do here is open up the advanced tab and where it says randomize order, I want to set this to on. So now instead of coming in like in a linear format, it's going to come in, you know, random. And that looks fine. So from here, let's like both these keyframes and hit F9 on my keyboard to make them easy ease keyframes. And now we have this scale animation and to me it's a little bit boring. I would like to see some more animation to this. So what I like to do here is maybe add a little bit after animation. So and now what we're going to do is open up our layer again and we'll go to animate and we're going to add scale once again. So this will create animator 2. And what I want to do here is increase the scale to come up just a little bit like this. So maybe go to like 130%. And what we want to do here is uh, say like 12 frames or so. We'll go into our range selector, we'll add a keyframe for start, and we'll move forward past the last keyframe by 12 frames, so we'll go to 212, and we'll set it to 100%, and this will overextend our characters to, you know, scale up a little bit more and go back into place, and of course, we'll make both these keyframes easy, easy keyframes, hit F9 on your keyboard. Alright, so I think this is a good start for our title, and now what I'd like to do is start adding those shapes in there to explode around our title and make it look awesome. And if you click this rectangle tool at the top, you'll drop down all the different tools here. I'm going to grab the ellipse tool, which is one of my favorite tools. And all we're going to do here is, you know, first of all, you might want to click on the word fill and you can set it to none. Click OK. Click on the word stroke and you want to make sure to set the solid color and click OK. You can change the color to whatever color you want. I'm just going to keep it at white. And here's the stroke count. I'm going to do probably like five. All right. So now with the tool selected, we can come here and we can hold down shift on our keyboard to draw out a perfect circle. And we'll have a circle just like this. And what I would like to do is kind of scrub through here and find one letter that's already animated up. So we'll do like the I here. And I'm going to just position this right around this letter. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to hit S on my keyboard for scale and add a keyframe for it. And I'm going to move this keyframe forward in time just by, you know, a few frames. And we'll set it down to zero. And of course, we'll make the keyframes easy, ease keyframes. And then we'll go into the contents. We'll go into the lips one and we'll go into the stroke one. And from here, we'll add a keyframe for stroke width and we'll actually move this keyframe forward to like 12 frames or however long that scale animation is. And then we'll move forward just by a few more frames and we'll set the stroke width to 0%. And one thing you'll definitely have to do is move the anchor point. So you see right now the circle is scaling in from the right to left. So their anchor point can be scattered wherever on your screen, which is right here. What we're going to do is just select our shape layer. We'll go to layer transform and we're going to click on center anchor point and layer content. And now I'll just move the anchor point to the center of that circle. So now it animates from right there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move the scale keyframe to be at the last keyframe of the stroke width keyframe. And you can make the stroke width keyframes easy, easy keyframes. And now what we can do is grab our circle explode and we can find another letter that we want to, you know, reveal this around. So maybe we'll go right to the S and we can just move this over to the S here. And we'll just offset it in time just by a little bit. All right, so I went ahead and duplicated our exploding circles along our entire title like this, and it's very easy to do. So now I want to create some more elements in here, obviously, because this isn't enough to create, you know, a nice explosion title. So what we'd like to do is maybe create some elements that go outside of our title. And of course, there are many ways to create titles that are just right for your video project. All the previews you're seeing right now are from Video Hive. 
And these are After Effects title templates that you can download and drag and drop your new titles and logos and render out in a few minutes so you don't have to create all the work that we're doing in this tutorial or any other tutorial on this channel. So if you're interested in any of these previews and you think they're gonna help you save time or if you're just looking for some inspiration and be sure to check our links in the video description where you can view thousands of After Effects templates just like this that will be perfect for your project. So maybe now what I like to do is grab the rectangle tool and I like to draw out just a rectangle like this. And what we'll do here is we'll center the anchor point right off the start by going to transform center anchor point and layer content. And there's that. And what I like to do here is just position our square to be like underneath our letter like this. And what I like to do here is hit S and hold down shift P on our keyboard to bring up uh, position and scale out of keyframe for both of these. We'll set the scale down to 0% and we'll move forward here to like two seconds or so. We'll set the scale back up to 100%. And we can position this downward and bring us over here. And then also what we'll do is hold down shift R to bring up rotation. And we can also rotate this a little bit as well, just adding those keyframes in there. And then we'll go into the shape layer. We'll go into the contents, go into the rectangle one, go into the stroke, and we'll add a keyframe for the stroke width. And we'll move here to the last keyframes and we'll set it down to zero, the stroke width that is. And now we have the square animating in there. Now, of course, we can bring in all the keyframes to speed up this animation just by a little bit. And let's say we want to create some more variations of the square. What we can do is grab our square uh, explode layer here, go to edit duplicate. We'll open up the duplicated layer. We'll go into the contents and we can delete the rectangle one. And we'll select contents and we'll grab, say, the polygon tool, for example. And we can draw out a polygon like this. And we'll go back into Polystar 1, we go into the stroke 1, and we'll reanimate the stroke width, so we've got a keyframe for that. We'll move forward, and we'll set the stroke width down to 0. And now you have an extra shape in here just like that. And of course, if you need to reanimate any of the transform keyframes, just hit U on your keyboard, bring up the keyframes. And if we want, we can just you know, move this back down, and move this around. And we can rotate it a little bit differently. And maybe we can offset it as well. So now we have some two easy shapes in here that are just exploding out from our letter E. And what I like about the Polystar is we can go into the Polystar 1 contents, go to the Polystar Path 1, and change the number of points down to 3 to make it like a triangle. And what I like to do here is grab our triangle and square and go up to Layer Precompose, and we can call it Shape Group 1, click OK. And then what we can do is duplicate this layer and hit R on our keyboard for rotation and rotate it 180 degrees. And now it'll be coming out from the other side as well. All right, so next I like to grab the pen tool here at the top, and I want to just use some lines here to go through our title. And I think it'll be kind of cool. So what we'll do is come here at a point, and what we'll do is come here and drag out these vertices here. So we've got another point that's curved, and we can kind of just do this up and down thing just like this. So now we just have this line that's going right through our title like this. And you know nothing too fun to look at. So what we'll do here is we'll go into our shape layer of one, we'll go to add, and we're gonna add a trim paths. With trim paths added, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna increase the end percentage to zero percent. So and what we'll do is add a keyframe for end, and we'll move forward here to maybe two seconds, and we'll increase it to 100 percent And then we'll come here, say like 10 frames, we'll add a keyframe for start, and we'll move past the last keyframe here, and we'll set it to 100 percent So now you should have a small line like this just going right through our our title just like that. And what we'll do here, grab all our keyframes, hit F9 on your keyboard. I have a very simple line just like that, and that looks pretty cool. And if we want, we can duplicate this layer and go up to Layer, Transform, and we do a flip horizontal. And then all we have to do is just offset it a little bit. And now you have just two lines going in like that. And, you know, it looks pretty cool. And now for our last technique, what I like to do is maybe just duplicate one of the circle splodes that we did before. Duplicate it. We'll bring it to the top and we can just offset it a little bit here in time and we'll kind of maybe move this over and then what we can do is hit S on our keyboard for scale and we'll go to the last scale keyframe and we can make this larger than it was before and then we can duplicate it and we can just move this around duplicate it again and we're just going to continue to move these around and then of course we can offset these as well just make some random variations of it all and now let's go ahead and turn on motion blur for all of our layers and turn it on the top you might as go back into those compositions that we made earlier and just add the motion blurs to that and now we should be able to check out what we've created
And now here is our accident explosion title and it looks really cool. We have a lot of elements going on here and it really brings focus to the title and just adds some cool elements to, you know, spice things up. So, and just like that, we have a title with an accident explosion composited together and it looks really cool. So I hope you guys were able to take away a few techniques from this video. If you did, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Sunday Film. We post two post-production tutorials every week right here on the channel. So hit that subscribe button. Hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creating.